Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and do you know what? I've been I've been really, really fortunate over the last couple of years. Um, you know, I, I've got a channel which I really love. I've got some amazing subscribers. Uh, I've grown to, uh, you know, really enjoy lock picking as a hobby and sort of embrace it in all its um, aspects, including uh, crafting and designing and, and all, all those other things, which I never dreamed of when I first picked up my first plastic practice lock um, and along that journey uh, sparrows have, have taken some of my designs and concepts and, and sort of made them uh, their own which uh, I has just been a fabulous experience for me and that's including uh, included these check pins which were based on my uh, checkers and chess concept design so you know we've got all the, uh, the, the queen the bishop the uh, pawn, the rook, and a stack of checkers, which um, actually is one of my uh, uh, favourite sort of pins because this is a seriously tough serrated pin. I like that one. And then um, around the holiday season, they brought out the Scrooge pins based on my um, Christmas locking concept, Christmas trees, and a um, a goblet which is hollowed out, and a slightly serrated. Um, tea pin style wine bottle snowman cracker and a sort of a bonus bauble and um you know when when sparrows made the check pins i i i just thought wow you know things can't get much better and then the scooch pins came out and i was like thinking wow that's isn't, isn't that just um just brilliant really enjoyed that especially around the holiday season it, it just uh, really showed um how sparrows uh had just had a bit of fun and I really hope that people just saw the joy in those pins and the challenge in picking them. What I've got for you here is the new Sparrows munition pins. Now uh, I'll put a link to the video but you may remember not too long ago I showed off some pins that I uh, designed based on an idea from a friend, um, a moderator from the UK Lot Sport Forum, Baldy Locks. And uh, and that d uh, design was something I called the firing line, and they were a set of um, bullets, shells, and pellets. So what I have for you here is the sparrows version, the munition pins, and what you see in front of you is, well, I'll be honest, a really, 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 really close um, replica to to my actual uh, final design of pins. Not perfect, but actually in their own way, possibly even better. Um, I'm genuinely, genuinely, um, uh, well, not only am I pleased at the level and attention to detail sparrows have put into these pins, I'm sort of shocked about, well, two, how, well, I think amazing they look, and, and, and also the amount of detail that sparrows have actually managed to capture in these. So we have, you know, um, a shotgun shell here. And what's nice is sparrows have somehow managed to actually put the uh, primer cap at the bottom of uh, the shell, which I think is a really cool little feature. I did that on my pins, but I never thought that they'd manage to uh, find a way to do that um, um, themselves. Then we got uh, an empty um, shell casing here. Um, and again, the sparrows have... So try and grab it. I'm doing a terrible job through the camera here. I apologise. There we go. I should hollow out the the tip uh, to where the sort of bullet would be, and you can see that not only is there a, a primer at the bottom, um, but there is a dent where the firing pin would have hit um, to show a spent cartridge. I mean that is yeah. How they manage to hollow out one end and and do that on the other, I I just can't fathom it in terms of manufacturing. Then we've got some nine mil rounds, um, which are actually based off uh, a Makarov because I really like this sort of round tip. And it's sort of unusual and different to some of the nine mil Parabellum rounds which I've seen there. So again, it's got the uh, primer at the bottom, just really cool. Um, then it's counterpart, just for a bit of fun really, um, which is just a hollow point version, just because why not? Then we got two uh, different versions of um, actual bullets themselves and then finally this one which you may not 
uh, see as something familiar, and that's because this is based off a air rifle field point. And again, not only uh, is it very, very, very accurate to what one looks like, um, it's actually hollowed out at the bottom just like one is as well. So how would I expect these pins to work? Well, uh, this one depends on its orientation. It's either going to be sort of a loose um, in this way in the lock um, facing the key pins. I'd expect it to be something like a, a sort of a, a loose T pin or this way up something like a spool. This will act like a, a T pin uh, this way up. If I grab it. So facing uh, facing the, the key or the other way up it would just act like a standard pin and a serration. And these serrations are quite deep. And um, I think that they will throw people off. They'll act a little bit like a spool, a little bit like a serration. Same with the next two pins, really. Um, there are obviously some cosmetic differences between uh, these three, um, but they'll all have a sort of similar feel. Um, there are obviously deeper serrations, and, uh, and uh, if it was this way, well, or these two um, whole bullets are this way up here, you'll see that they would um, sort of act like a, a sort of T-pin in, in their own way in the lock. The ones which I'm really, really interested in are these two. And you might think, well, aren't they? Uh, I'd probably put them this way up with the springs at the top. The reason being is I think this is possibly the first commercially available um, uh, sort of challenge pin which is tapered just here um, and the untapered pins uh, and they are ang angled slightly differently and slightly deeply and uh, slightly more deeply and tapered pins they can just be a massive 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 pain to set because they tend to um, underset on locks as well um, yeah they I'm, I'm just I just yeah I'm really interested to see somebody put these into um, you know a good lock body with some tight tolerances and uh, they they could prove really difficult and then this pin well I think this pin is going to be the uh, the little dark horse actually as a driver pin it's quite short so you need to put it in the right pin stack you can obviously put it in a, uh, a somewhere where there's a really really short key pin because it probably mean that uh, the shear line is above the, the pin itself but just think about how this would act in a lock, a sort of a serrated arrow pin, uh, which could actually sort of completely jam up the entire core if you're unlucky. At least that's how um, I, I imagine it will work. So uh, yeah, I think that, you know, not only do we have some uh, pins which are, you know, miniature munitions, um, but they they really are a sort of uh, a very um, close, Sort of, sort of a replica of the the ones I designed, um, with a, a stunning level of detail for a, for a sort of a commercially available pin set. And I think that um, whilst they, uh, you know, much of their charm is going to be based on the fact that they are small versions of um, you know bullets and shells and those kind of things, uh, and and pellets. I think that there will be some surprises in here about how they will pick in in locks. Um, and in the right place, I reckon they could provide a real challenge. Either way, you know, when, when I actually look at these pins and um, and the other pins which, uh, you know, Sparrows have, have, have brought forward based on my concepts and designs, um, I just can't help but feel really sort of lucky and, and grateful and uh, and thankful. You know, um, you know, it means a lot to me to see these things out there uh, for people to, to be able to purchase. Um, and... These munition pins are around four US dollars and fifty cents, uh, which is just under, I believe, six Canadian dollars, or around three pounds forty in um, UK money. Um, but of course, I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, so please just check out the links and go check the prices out yourself on the Sparrows website. But we're not done there. I'm not just like you know showing these off uh, um, by way of, well, just being astounded that I've got another set out with Sparrows, but. I want to do a bit of a giveaway, and what have I got to give away? Well, I have obviously some bullet pins. There we go. Uh, well, not bullet pins. They're, they're, I think they've got sparrows munition pins. So I've got a whole pack of those for you. I've also got, and these aren't available on the site at the moment because uh, they're only available during the holiday season, which are the Scrooge pins. So if you want some of those and you don't have them, I'm going to throw those in as well. And I want to do some of my check pins. 
but I've actually got the check pin cutaway here. So I'm going to throw that in. There we go. And you see the check pins in the lock there. But not only that, I'm going to throw in uh, something new and it's a, it's a bit vain, but I printed out some vinyl uh, stickers with my uh, logo on just because I wanted to and I thought it would be kind of cool. So um, if you want to win the check pin cutaway, the sticker, the uh, full set, once I put the pins back in of Scrooge pins and a full set of munition pins, if you want to win those, it's really easy. All you need to do is like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, put a comment below this video, and then read the rules in the descriptions. Um, they're pretty comprehensive, but essentially it's it's gonna say, at some point after a week or so, I'm going to uh, do a draw for one winner out of all the people who have liked, subscribed, and commented in this video. And then I will pick that winner, and all you need to do is contact me within two weeks of the draw with a mailing address and um, and obviously just prove on YouTube comments that you're the same person as the person who's emailing me and we're pretty much done then I'll send them off to you and uh, you get your prize so yeah I mean I really hope that you like these munition pins I really really like them they've come out um, you know they've exceeded my expectations they, they really have and, and I really really like them I hope you do too and uh, thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you next time.